they just apprehended this rider here, no crash helmets. Bibili ka ng bigasan. Diyan lang. Hindi mo ka lakarin. Hindi, sa akin po ilalagay ko rin. Ayaw mo naman mag-helmet, ayaw mo naman mag-sapatos. Eh bakit ka pa mag-motor? Eh kung komportable ka sa ganyan, walang helmet, walang chinela, ah nakachinela, maglakad ka na lang. Ang lalaki ng mga dumadaan dito, mga bus, mga pick-up, masagi ka lang yan. Thank you ka. Yung dyan lang, dyan lang ako, bibili lang ako ng gamot sa drugstore, may bibili lang ako sa kalipa pa. Ha? Yung dyan lang na yun, dyan maraming na-accidente. Wala kang lisensya. Hindi ko lang po sir. Dali lang po sir. Ayun naman sa kanto lang sir. Ay, dako. Iba ko lang po sir. Yun na sinasabi ko sa inyo eh. Ayun yung magdala ng lisensya. Ayun yung mag-helmet. Ayun yung mag-chinelas. Huwag na lang kayo mag-motor. Maglakad na lang kayo. Mag-exercise na lang kayo. There goes the rider now. He'll take his stuff. And then the towing crew will load this onto the tow truck. You thought this was a sidewalk for pedestrians? Nope, that's a VIP garage. Can you imagine you're a PWD and this is the kind of thing you have to deal with every day? Just impossible, really impossible. You'll see this lady here, just to demonstrate. Will she look behind her considering there's a bicycle coming? No, straight in the road. That's why accidents happen. I'm not blaming her because Really, this vehicle shouldn't be on the sidewalk in the first place. And that's why the enforcer is writing out the ticket now. You'll see this huge sign, no parking anytime, directly below it. Tricycles, motorcycles, cars, all being ticketed by the MMDA. Again, you'll see the sign there, no parking anytime. And then you have this vehicle, which doesn't have a proper plate on the front. And then the van, which is actually double parked. So, no wonder you're going to be stuck in traffic. Again, as long as the drivers show a license, it's only a ticket instead of being towed. You'll see a pedestrian crossing here, but once you get to the middle, even that became a parking area. Looks like this might be one of the drivers. Again, if he has a license. And just nearby, the tricycles who were parked on the sidewalk are now going on the back of the tow truck. Unless they were able to show a license and then they can just go away with just a ticket. Sometimes they have to get a little bit creative in the way they pick up a vehicle. Honestly, it's hard work. It's hard work to be a towing crew. But at the same time, that's their job, so they have to get it done. You'll see this car here was actually parked in the bus unloading area. So what does that mean when the buses come along? Of course, they're going to take the second lane, maybe the third lane. Anyway, the enforcer is writing out a ticket now. Aside from the parked vehicle, you have things like this, a concrete block which then holds this canopy over the sidewalk. A lot of people think the sidewalk and the road in front of their property is an extension of theirs, when really it's a public space. The problem with all these tricycles here is they say, hey, we have a terminal permit. They do, but not to use it as a garage. It's meant to be a terminal. There are no drivers, the engines are cold to the touch, meaning they haven't been moved for at least quite some time. It's really being used as a garage, permanent garage for parking. Anyway, if no driver comes out, the towing crew are taking them away as illegally parked. And I just heard the enforcers say they've actually been looking for the drivers for a long time. They're not coming out. And right now, they're asking the driver of this one for his license, parked on the sidewalk. Actually, there were some vans in the road also, but they suddenly sped away once they saw enforcers. That does not seem like it's going to be safe to tow that. All they have is a piece of rope. Obviously, there's no steering on the back. The rope is very long, so... Oh my goodness. Recipe for disaster, I think. Okay, so they're only taking it inside, probably because the clearing team are here. Well, at least they're not going on a long journey. That's what I was worried about. But on the flip side, it's a shame that they only do it when the MMDA are here. Why don't the barangay tell them, hey, remove that from the road? And further along the road, you'll see another vehicle obstructing the sidewalk. The towing crew already hooking up to this one because there's no driver. And just across the street, you see the towing crew making a video about the damage on this vehicle because they're about to pick it up for illegal parking on the sidewalk. The enforcer has already written out the ticket. He's just updating it to mark it as impounded. 
because there's no driver, basically. You see Bong Cruz, bright orange. Oh, it looks like a gentleman's coming over for a selfie also. It's pretty common. This is a nice wide road, able to handle a lot of traffic. But look at the car that's just randomly parked in the middle. They're asking for the license now because obviously this is not a correct place to park. Okay, it looks like the driver handed it over. Attended illegal parking, it's 1,000 pesos. Even if you've been caught a million times, if you show your license, it's only 1,000 pesos. There are many signs on this road that say no parking. The team came across this truck. Apparently it's stalled, it can't be moved. So I think the tow truck will take it away to clear the road. And if this truck lost a tire, you would really hope they don't think about using the reserve. Because my goodness, look at that. Across from that SUV, you'll see they're already starting to pick up this one parked on the corner. Plus no parking is allowed here anyway. The rain is coming down, but rain or shine, they have to work. And just behind that, they also picked up a sedan. And I think they're gonna pick up that little van in the background. So far, no drivers are coming out. I suspect they're probably quite far away. Their house is probably somewhere on the inside. And the team are now looking at this pickup truck obstructing the sidewalk. The problem is security guard said the driver's not here. So impossible to move it, impossible to clear the sidewalk. So they're calling in the tow truck now. They'll make sure that it's secure on the tow truck, tie it down, and then take it to Tamana in Marikina City. They're flagging down this rider. His passenger on the back had no crash helmet. Plus, he was riding on the sidewalk to get around the traffic. The sidewalk is not a road. It's not a place to drive. He's handed over his license now, at least. This guy just came running from across the street. I guess it must be his van. So as long as he shows a license, it's only a ticket. The reason why they were looking at this one is he's obstructing the sidewalk. The sidewalk is for pedestrians. A lot of commuters are suffering every day because they're forced to walk in the road and risk getting hit. That's a big boy right there. Very quiet park though. You see another vehicle being ticketed here, fully obstructing the sidewalk. It's really like that. A lot of people treat the sidewalk as their private garage. And in fact, if they had a garage before, it was often turned to a shop or an extended living space. You see two riders over there, no crash helmets, slippers. Looks like they got lucky because the enforcers didn't spot them. And here comes another one as well. No helmet, slippers saying that it looks like they were spotted by the enforcers and they're asking now for the driver's licenses there were actually a lot of motorcycles parked here many people tried to run away according to the enforcer someone came out and said hey that's my motorcycle parked on the sidewalk i'll go get my license and then he never came back so i think it's going to be impounded maybe he's inside looking for someone that can show a license who knows and there you go, the towing crew is taking it now. As they were about to load it on the tow truck, the driver came running over to give his license. That's the problem, people don't take you seriously, they do not cooperate until the vehicle is about to be impounded. That's the time they're willing to cooperate and give their license. He's very lucky that they didn't just put it on the tow truck. And right now the enforcers are writing out tickets to a lot of trucks and vans parked on both sides of this road. I'm not sure if they all belong to the same person. You'll see the enforcers writing the tickets are actually taking shelter because if the ticket gets damaged, they're personally liable. So they have to protect it from the rain. Many roads in Metro Manila feel small and narrow. But once you start towing, and ticketing and clearing suddenly you realize hey the roads are actually quite wide just a few more trucks to go and then this road will be fully clear